What's good, YouTube? It's Ray Jarrell. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys what I believe is the best under center defense in Madden 23. So, if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, um, first and foremost, I actually want to talk to you guys about my website. So, if you don't know, I have a website to where I post uh, ebooks, I post um, tournaments, I post CFLs, I have coaching sessions. So, there's a lot that I have on the website and i'm really excited to uh, release this to you guys so if you have not already heard about my website or been on it yourself uh please check out this little preview of it right now all things madden will be the future for the madden community this is so much more than your standard ebook website. This website right here is designed for everything that you love to do in Madden. We know you love tournaments. We know you love to play CFLs. We have money CFLs. We have free CFLs. We even give you reward points for shopping on our website. There's also an amazing feature that we put on there called request an ebook. Now, this is the exact process that you'll go through when you actually check out and we also offer a number of payments so go ahead and head over to allthingsmadden.com to see what all the hype is about all right so like i said just go on the website you know everything is on there make sure you go look at the personal ebooks um i did put out a personal ebook for a sub uh, it was the far tight slot so if that's something you're interested in uh make sure you go cop that honestly so uh let's go on and dive right into this video though so um this the reason i decided to do this video because i actually had gameplay where uh, if you watched my last video that I put out, it was an offensive version of that gameplay. Now we're talking about the defense, and this formation is king when it comes to stopping any under center formation, honestly. So first and foremost, I want to talk about what playbook I'm in. So I'm in a multiple defensive playbook, but 3-4 odd is found in almost every playbook. Honestly, it's in so many. It's probably in your Pacific playbook. So quickly, I just kind of want to talk about personnel. I kind of want to show you some base setups that I like and why I like them, and then we'll hop right into the gameplay to show you those setups live in action so let's go on to get started so as far as personnel goes um you really want to make sure you have your best uh either you know normally it's going to be your left end right end nothing special left and right end D tackle now if you have a great outside linebacker like a von miller type you want to make sure you sub them in at um Whoever your best pass rushers are, you want them at the end position, basically. So linebackers, uh, you just want to have two great, uh, two fast linebackers normally. Um, normally, uh, I think Oren, Bur Oren Burks and uh, Fred Warner are going to be fine. And outside linebackers, you just want speed. So Dre Grinlaw is good right here. And then uh, we'll probably put in uh, him because he has 90 speed. Now, uh, secondary, you want to have speed all around. Um, that's what I prefer. So I would actually put in uh, Tavarius Moore right here. And I actually would put in, um, I'll leave Jimmy Ward. So that's how I personally would do it with 3 4 odd. Now, the play that I'm going to come out in for the base is going to be cover 4 drop. Now, if you're interested in a 3 4 odd ebook, I'm, 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 I'm not sure if I'm actually going to have it up by the time this video gets up. But if you're interested in it, make sure you go to my personal ebook section and you actually request a 3 4 odd. You can request any formation you want, but if you're looking for 3 4 odd, then just go ahead and request it and I'll actually get that made. And I'll actually put it directly into your. Um, into your account that you create so anyways um it really doesn't matter for under center so we'll kind of take a look at a popular formation so let's just do gun dukes deuce close um since they have the wham they have you know the stretch so they also have this flood so we'll just kind of take a look at that just to kind of show you guys and like i said this is gonna be really quick and it will hop right into gameplay so i'm just kind of putting in some random run plays here uh we'll also take a look at halfback zone um and we'll also take a look at one popular pass play which is going to be this flood and I could end up doing a mini scheme on this formation too. I really like this formation, but uh, we'll come on and come out in a stretch. So first and foremost, what I like to do is I like to spread my defense line. So that's left on the D-pad, up to spread my D-line. And when I spread my D-line, I like to pinch my linebackers which is right on the D-pad. And then we're going to hit the down for shift linebackers and we're going to pinch them. So just like that. Now, I love to either use this safety or this safety right here. Now, I like to base everything, everything out of cover for drop. And the reason why is because... I want I don't want to have to base a line honestly and not your opponent basically is not going to know where you can use her so you have the freedom to use her either one of these two safeties or one of these two linebackers now if I'm using her in safety I like to play a cover three shell so what I would do is I'll blitz my safety and I'll actually take the other safety and I'll put him in the inside third just like this and from this point there's a lot of different things I like to do as far as coverage goes I may shade down um, to help out if they play any hard flats um, or I may do a shell that looks like this where we take the linebacker, put him at a vertical hook, 
and then we take this um, the other linebacker, the middle linebacker, and put him in a, a purple or put him in a hard flat. Um, and I would actually spy the other linebacker. So this is another setup I like. Now, if I spy the linebacker, I like to crash my line. And uh, normally, this is exactly how I do it. Now, uh, what's great about this is uh, we're going to have just great run fit. So notice how we have people in pursuit and notice how the gaps are going to get taken away. So it's just really good, uh, honestly. Um, and we can do the same thing with this side. So we can uh, play this way or we can do this style of coverage if we want to where we play like this. Or I could take that guy, put him in a hard flat. So you have a lot of options. You also could take square, put him in a, a purple out there. So we, we could definitely do a lot. And that's why I really love this defense. And also, you want to make sure you click that right stick in. It's going to help everybody kind of get off sheds a little faster. Um, so please make sure you are doing that. So uh, that's pretty much. Uh, so I will kind of show you just one more run play. So let's just do the wham. Um, and like I said, uh, the coverage shell doesn't matter as much uh, because we're going to have great run fit. So. Let's just go and see what we got here. So notice how we're just going to kind of take the user and just fill the gap. That's all you want to do with your user. You just want to try to fill that gap, honestly. So if you take a look at the run flip, notice how we have um, just about everybody that's involved. The only people we don't have involved is our two outside corners. And uh, so you can kind of tell why I really love the defense, man. Um, it's not much to say about it. Uh, it's just a, it's a really, really great defense. Just all around great. Now, if they happen to pass the ball, uh, basically, I like playing hard flats. So that way I can actually go lurk on the deeper routes myself. So I kind of show you that here. So I kind of look, look. Okay, cool. He's running that. So I'm going to go lurk on that myself. So that's why I like to play hard flats a lot. Um, but you'll see in gameplay how I mix it up and everything. So let's go in and take a look at that gameplay. All right. So right here, uh, we got the same gameplay like I was telling. Well, same opponent. So um, if you didn't watch my last video, so I showed offensive only on my last video. And this was just such a great game for offense and defense that I wanted to just show you guys both sides of the ball. So you can actually get the most value out of uh, this game that I played. So right here you can tell the setup that i showed you and just look at basically how everything just flows and just notice he did it looked like he had a lot of room but that's why you want to use that's why with your user you actually want to just um try to take away whatever you see open that's normally how i user it so notice how right there the outside was open so what i did was i grabbed my user and i took my user outside and normally when you do that um you're basically playing cleanup with the safety so normally you're not going to be able to blow up runs in the backfield um well at least outside zone type of plays now inside zone type of plays um or like you know stretches uh sometimes you can with stretches but mostly uh have back dives you can actually blow up now right there it was t uh, definitely my fault i was actually looking um i was not looking at that route i didn't think he'll throw it since my users on that side but honestly i like to get pre-game assumptions of people and that told me that he's gonna throw me a lot of picks uh because anytime somebody throws that kind of read where your user's right there that means they're gonna they're gonna test you out and they're gonna throw one at you uh pretty much um, a lot during the game so um i'm really glad he did that but you can tell just why i said i love this defense man um now i'm doing the same setup that i showed you now either i will crap i will slant my defense excuse me not slant either i would a um spread my d-line uh pinch my linebackers or i'll uh invert it and then spread my linebackers and then pinch my d-line so it all just depends i kind of interchange between those two setups so notice how this time i decided to spread my d-line pinch my linebackers um and a lot of times i just test out to see what's really great um you know about which setup i want to use if i could blow it up or not sometimes some setups work better than others when i alternate between those two but um that's how i love to do it man um so right here i kind of thought he was gonna quit i think he just felt like he should have got that first i think he was kind of pausing it to kind of say like i got cheated and which you know in, in a way he, i don't know man see if that was the one thing i do like about bad 23 is they actually don't just let you fall forward all every single time so notice how right there like i said they, he kind of falls forward but we still we stand him up uh, but Madden 22, man, he would have gained about eight yards off of that, off a of stumble animation. So right here, normally fourth in inch, inches. Um, that's the only reason I'm still in three, four, but this is a shotgun set. So normally I don't run three, four versus shotgun. Um, so right there, I kind of thought I was going to be able to get the pick, but, um, I didn't really expect him to throw it. So like I said, man, um, when you throw risky passes like that, he seems like the risky type. So it seems like when he has his mind made up pre-snap about where he wants to go, he'll go there. So, uh, I kind of had to keep that in mind. So just like I said, pre-snap reads, um, he figured he's going to throw the corner out anyways. And so he just went and threw it. So those type of players, I actually really love playing against those type of players. Um, just because we're going to be able to have a lot of chances to capitalize, but just kind of notice what he's doing, man. 
um, and this is why I wanted to show you guys this specific gameplay. You know, I couldn't have picked a better gameplay if I even tried because he's actually running the ball under center. He's trying to pass the ball under center, and he's only staying under center. He only ran shotgun once, and that was on fourth and inches. Um, so it kind of, you know, this is the best gameplay I could ask for. Now, right here, he actually is going to come out into a, a gun look. So in Madden 23, as you guys know, man coverage is extremely good. Um, so you can still use the same shell from Madden 22, which I'll actually talk about uh, in another video. But um, one thing apparently that you can do in Madden 23, apparently, is throw routes uh, when you run a screen. Um, but like I said, stop that. You just have to probably rush like four people and they'll be able to get there. But um yeah, man, I'm really excited for Madden 23, and honestly, I really like it better than Madden 22, to be real with you guys. Um, but let me know your thoughts. You know, if you're on current gen, if you're on next gen, you know, let me know that too. Um, now, you guys might know, but uh, I'm on current gen, so this is definitely current gen gameplay. Now, uh, I get a lot of, I get asked a lot about why I'm not on next gen and why I'm on current gen, and it's really simple. Um, there's not a lot of current gen um, content creators, but there's a lot of next gen. So basically. I'm, it's, it's only a handful of people that's even posting current gen schemes and current gen tips and you know things everything current gen is right there I, I don't know uh, CPU decided that I didn't deserve a pick so I just didn't get a pick right there but yeah man um I post on uh, I post current gen because you know it's, it's a lot of y'all that's actually still on current gen and um it's a lot of y'all looking for current gen content and that's why I want to keep posting it because there's still a need for it so that's why I'm not in a hurry to go to next gen because I you know I, I, I and plus I I heard next gen is not as good as current gen but y'all let me know in the comments that play next gen what do you think <clears throat> you know is it better <clears throat> excuse me actually my throat was a little dry I'm sorry I gotta get some water real quick <clears throat> all right I'm good now I promise I'm good so um yeah man let me know if y'all are on current gen or next gen just kind of let me know um really excited to hear hear that from you guys because uh if uh, if enough of you're on next gen um then i'll end up switching but i just don't see the need and also i hear that current gen is just better than next gen that's just what i hear and uh i really believe it from watching gameplay on next gen it seems like a lot of bs things happen and this year it doesn't seem to be that much bs other than um the glitches that you can do to kind of glitch you a free win now i don't know how to do it i just heard about it i've heard other content creators get glitched for free wins um Nah, because like I said, this is not my, my channel is not really predicated on glitches. Unless it's something that I want patched, then I'll actually make a video on it. Um, and the reason why I do that is because um, if enough people make videos about it, then EA will somebody from EA will eventually see it and patch it. That's normally how it works. So you actually contribute when you actually you know you actually post about it. If I knew about it, and didn't post about it, then that kind of makes me look bad, honestly. So, well, it doesn't help out the community, I should say. So, right there, very questionable read by my opponent. I guess you can call it a dot. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't have made that read, but hey, he completed it, so I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, man. Um, I hope you guys are kind of watching this defensive game because it's 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 honestly a really great game, and you can tell this is the best example I could have ever given about showcasing a defense that's four under center. So. 3-4 odd, I only really love it versus under center. You can run it versus shotgun for sure, but it's just it's just not my favorite for shotgun. There's uh, there's better defenses to run for shotgun. But under center, you just, you know, you can tell I call this play 19 times on average, 2.9 yards. You know, it's just it's just a really symmetrical defense. That's what makes it good because if we were to draw a line down the middle of the center, um, it would be the same amount of people on the same side, if that makes sense. Um, and that's just anytime you have that kind of uh, symmetric that's why you'll have a good defense. So basically like three through five wide, how that was meta, is because you could draw a line down the middle and it's even on both sides. You know? So any defense where you can be even on both sides is gonna be really great in Madden. Now real life is a little different, obviously, but Madden normally that's how it is. Now I put a hard flat on that side just so he wouldn't throw that. And he ended up throwing me a pick right there. So now, like I said, um I told you guys he was a really risky player. So when you play risky, um you're gonna you know you're gonna turn the ball over if you have to throw the ball. I can tell this guy's a runner. He wants to run first. Um and some of you guys might say, real, you know, why'd you why'd you take this gameplay? This guy, you know, is bad or you know, things like that. But honestly, um, uh, I just think it's great defense for me, if you want to be honest. Like, it's just, it's, it's a great defensive formation, and that's why I wanted to showcase it. Um, because what can he do? You know, he's tried to run the ball. You know, he's trying to find dots, you know. And at some point, you just have to say, okay, it's just great defense. It's just great coverage. And that's the point of me putting this video out, you know. So, um, just wanted to make sure I did kind of clear that up. I like to try to clear things up before you guys comment, you know. Uh, right here, I, I don't even know how. I was holding triangle. 
uh, but I just didn't get animation at all. But um, a lot of times I like to clear things up. But also, if you if you ever want to say something to me, just comment. You know, I do my actually I don't even say do my best. I respond to everybody who comments to me, unless you just say something just completely out of line. You know, uh, completely disrespectful. Then I may not respond. In that case, I probably just delete your comment. To be honest, uh, that's why because I, I like to try to keep everything. You know. I don't like to go back and forth with people no more on comments. So like if it's just something super disrespectful, like not like, you know, trying like you're trying to argue a point or say a point, that's different, you know. Um if it's a uh if it's a discussion, you know. But if you're just like extremely disrespectful for no reason and real quick right here, I have no idea why he throws that. Maybe he meant to throw the swing route, but um you guys can tell I want you guys to pay attention to coverages. And also I want I do want to say is I actually did not zone drop once in this game. Um, I actually do not play zone drop that much. Now, it all depends on the formation, but everything you're seeing is non-zone drop, you know? So, that's just me putting people where they should go, basically. So, uh, right there, I thought he was actually going to get more yards than that. But, um, 7 rushes, 22 yards. Like I said, I can't ask for a better defense than that. But, uh, real quick, what I actually wanted to talk about is, like... I don't go back and forth with people uh, unless it's like a discussion, you know, like if you're giving your opinion, okay, cool, I'll give mine. But if it's disrespectful, like if it gets disrespectful, like I just delete it. <laughs> like, cause you know, I'm not gonna like, I'll normally just, you know, like I said, delete the, delete the comment because I like to keep everything. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a toxic person, you know, so I don't find joy in, you know, being toxic with somebody, you know, so that's just, that's just me personally, man. Um, but right here, um, you guys can see it's the same setup that I'm giving you guys in practice mode. So look at our user. We're going to fly down there and get a nice hit stick and there's almost nothing you can really do about it. And you guys might say, well, why hasn't he tried ID in your user? Maybe he has, but at the same time, when you're a safety, um, if you stand further enough back, then it doesn't matter if they ID you or not, you're still going to be able to fly in there. And that's why this is just. It's the best defense, in my opinion. You know, it's the best under center defense. And, you know, I will stand behind it. I mean, you can argue 335 why, you know, I definitely could see that. Um, especially since you go to have safeties in. I understand that. But when we talk about an all around defense, I really love this one because it's, it's simple to set up. Um, there isn't really much to it. And you have a lot of options. You can blitz if you want to, you can play coverage if you want to. And your opponent is really not going to have no idea, you know? And like I said, the only argument I'm trying to hear is <laughs> three three five uh, odd. Uh, that's not three three five odd. My bad. I meant to say uh, three three five wide. So that's that's probably tied for first. Um, probably. But like I said, I gotta give the head nod to three four odd because what other defense? What other defense can you just stop? under center and shotgun you know like i said um i wouldn't run this versus shotgun personally unless it's a heavy shotgun like this formation right here split close or anything like wing tight i probably would do wing tight um but that's pretty much it but like i said what else can you do you know like literally so it's just what what other what other defense can you play that's dissymmetrical and that can actually hold the run maybe three three five normal maybe but you have to set that up perfectly just uh stop the under center runs you know you can't you're not really going to blow up runs in the backfield every single time with 335 uh, normal. But if you audible to wide, you definitely can. It's right there. Um, Poyer is just going to go crazy. We get the nice lurk. And, of course, we are going to turn that into points. So, like I said, I know this is a very lopsided game. I can't control him not quitting. But what I do like about this guy is that he's coming out in different offensive formations. They all are under center, but he's coming out in different formations, you know. So, it'd be like... Basically, if this same person was to never leave one offensive formation, so let's say he just stayed in I form close the whole entire game or something like that, right? You guys wouldn't have seen this video because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have shown that to you. But the reason that I chose this is because he's coming out in different formations. Like we got Pistol Bunch now, he's been coming out in so he's basically just cycling between under center formations, and I, I respect it. You know, honestly, I, I truly, truly do. It shows that he's actually trying to figure out ways to move the ball on me. You know, he's running different plays. You know, he's not running the same setups when he's passing the ball so it just shows me that you know he's he's trying to move the ball you know he's not a complete bot you know so this is just why i love this game to showcase just how great this defense is honestly uh it's my it's been my defense since um honestly i think mad 19 i want to say mad 19 i think is when i first uh started running three four odd um it might have been 20 but i want to say for sure it was 19 i want to say i know for a fact it was 20 though um because on madden 20 jesus christ i don't know if y'all remember but um madden 20 
you you could run three four i versus everything literally everything i think i even remember putting out a video on madden 20 one of my earlier videos about uh empty defense where i was using three four i because i used to use three four i versus empty like and actually be bagging that's what's crazy like you, you was able to blitz uh the reason it worked because like in madden 20 they just didn't let you throw the ball fast enough so um you could actually just you know blitz seven people or not my bad not even seven you could blitz six people and then your opponent just it just couldn't do nothing like if somebody came free there was nothing your opponent could do because they just they didn't let you throw the ball fast enough that was just it they just literally did not let you but madden 21 they actually went and fixed it to where you could throw the ball versus the blitz and that's why three four i kind of fell off it was just because of that it was still good but it wasn't as good as it used to be uh because they actually let you but that man that madden 20 days was crazy bro like, I swear, is it you know, I kind of low-key wish it was kind of go back to Madden 20, because Madden 20 was low-key fun, though. It's just, it was a lot of BS that happened, a lot of things you had absolutely no control over, but it was fun. Because <laughs> uh, if you guys remember, that's when Rollout Corners was just, you know, a nightmare, like, um, tight offset tight end was just running rampant because of that one play with that corner route uh, and then bunch of course was just done but it was nothing but roll out corner routes you know but it was fun though but anyways man um that's pretty much wrap it up for this video though i do hope you guys have a blessed day i'm rage real and i'm out